I can relate to where you were coming from. Very attractive woman. Most people are, are seeing that photo of you saying, why did she touch her face? Well, you're going in for what you felt was a simple injection. What can that hurt? You trusted the doctor. You trusted what this doctor was injecting into your face. And the three of us as, as board certified plastic surgeons, we've, we've all seen this, people that have received silicone injections in the face, in the body, in the breast. And I can see why you, you would be talked into that because when you say, okay, silicone is, is permanent, that sounds great. Oh, I don't have to come back. I don't have to come back. I'm gonna address the issue and it's taken care of. Well, what the problem with silicone is, you, you never know how it's going to react. It is permanent. In so many cases, it's just a matter of time that it is going to become a, a, an inflammatory problem. So that being said, Reza, let's get you involved. And I, I, I just wanna say, first of all, that I'm, I know you as a colleague, we go way, way back and I'm so proud that, that you stepped up to the plate. Everybody said, no, I don't wanna do it. And I understand why we've been in that position. When you take this on, it now becomes your patient and your problem. All the things that were created by somebody else are now your issue. <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm glad I made the decision because Carol is a dream patient. I mean, she, she was in a very difficult position. And you taught me this, Drew, when, when I was a resident, that you can't give up on people because the challenges are difficult. And, um, and so she has actually pushed me and made me a better physician by venturing into a challenging area where I wouldn't know the outcome. Well, and that I'm, being I, I, said, what was that challenge? If you can walk us through what, what this reconstructive surgery entailed. The first surgery was just a surgery to lift the brows, to allow her to see. And when she came to me, she was taping her forehead up higher to scalp to lift the forehead up. She couldn't actually walk out the door without tape on her forehead. And during that surgery, I realized that the quality of the tissue was so poor, rock hard in some areas from all the scar and inflammation, uh, and I couldn't just remove it and, and recontour it and move it around, that it had to be replaced. So along with one of my partners at UCLA, we did a, a very major invasive surgery, and you saw one of the photos there, where we took a block of skin and fat from her back and use that to completely resurface the forehead. And then the last major surgery was to try and essentially do like a facelift to take the bulk of silicone and other materials that was filling out the middle and lower parts of her face and cheek uh, to give her just a more natural contour to the face. And Carol, I, the reason that I'm so impressed with you is this is, this is the worst case we've seen here. And your result is phenomenal and where you came from. I want to ask your daughter quickly because you're bravely holding your mom's hand, Sophia. You, you're part of the reason that your mom is here today. I don't think she would be here or have sought help if it weren't for you. So kudos to you. But what, what allowed you to convince, convince your mom that it, it was time to start living again? I just felt like it was time. I hadn't seen my mom's eyes in four years. I hadn't been able to look into her eyes in four years, and I just knew she had a better quality of life than what she was living. So I just felt like she needs to be out in the world again. Carol, you're never going to go back to where you were before this all started, but hopefully somewhere along this journey, you've gotten your life back. It sure seems like you have a, a wonderful daughter by your side. Um, Dr. Jerry, thank you for taking this case on. And last but not least, we're going to have a link to your foundation on our website, thedoctorstv.com, for people who would like more, more information. Thank you. Thank you once again for all you're doing now to help others.